Welcome back to Make Way for Cat. Bolo is excited to explore some ancient ruins, and I don't want him there. Uh, but we're gonna go anyway. The Shrouded Ruins. Mist is so very good at obscuring things, it's long been said to blur boundaries. If we're to somehow bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth, then maybe we need a setting such as this. That being said, what are we meant to do now? Seems I've made it in time. Showing up only when the time's right, huh? With age comes wisdom, I guess. I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. Right, but how do we make this red chain? I would hardly know. We speak of a d divine instrument, one said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really imagine it can be forged by mortal hands? Then what are we doing here? We don't have any more time to waste. Whoop. Something's happening. Ah, the Pokemon of the lakes. There it is. You received the red chain. So it was true. The pact our people have passed down for all these generations has been kept. At last, I can set this burden aside. You've succeeded once again, Cat. Yet, things do not seem to be going so well for the rest of the world. What's that supposed to mean, Adamant? Or Adamant is saying. I've had some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. It seems that the commander is going to forego waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Coronet himself. What's he thinking? Even if he makes it up there, what can he do against a giant rift in space-time? Well, he doesn't yet know that our cat has managed to get the red chain now, does he? That's right. We've got to let him know that it'll be all right now that we have the red chain. Even the commander should see reason. And then he can call off this foolhardy plan of his. It's you! I can't believe I just let you pass right by! Thank goodness you're still alive. I mean, of course you are. I knew you'd be alright. Wait one second. I'll go and let the captain and the professor know you're back. Oh, my dear cat. I'm glad you didn't say, my girl. <laughs> professor, I know you've been worried about cat, but there's no need to cry. I'm not crying. Don't mock, do not mock your elders, if you please, Ray. Sniffle. And besides, weren't you the one who couldn't get a wink of sleep from all your worrying over our friend? You didn't have to tell her that. Just ignore him, Cat. Anyway, where's Captain Silene? Wasn't she coming with you, Professor? She's buried under a mound of work, I'm afraid. We're to join her in the security or the Survey Corps office. It seems her hands are more than full now that Commander is gone. He's not here. Well, he set out for Mount Coronet with the Security Corps in tow. He's determined to handle this whole space-time rift business himself, including dealing with the Pokémon that's been spotted on the other side. And since I'm a fine fellow, I took over watching the gate for the Security fo Corps folks. Well, we aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside and report to the captain. So you managed not to die, just as I ordered. Well done. 
Thanks to you, Captain. I have no idea what you're implying. Herp, get off my mouse. All I know is Abra vanished of its own accord, inconveniencing me greatly. Before moving forward, I must ask. I assume that you are here again because you've managed to learn something. I got this red chain. Go on. You explain about the red chain you obtained? A legendary tool set to bind the very world. Commander Kamado is no longer here in Jubilife Village. The Security Corps had been scouting the area near the space-time rift, and they reported sightings of something on the other side of it. Something that resembled a Pokémon. The Commander made this decision to take the Security Corps to the mountainous prayer to fend off any possible threat. They were to make for the temple at the peak. The boss may be tough, but it still seems like a bad idea to do something so risky without Cat's help. As the captain of the Survey Corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. I'm not in the Survey Corps anymore. Take that red chain to Mount Coronet. Make your way to the peak and put an end to all of this. You are officially reinstated at your former rank. Yeah. Are you sure, Captain? The boss isn't around to approve that. If he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then he should not have left me in charge here. That's right, Silene. Then I'll go as well. We're all in this together, we members of the Survey Corps. Naturally, no one suggested you should not. Oh, so am I free? Free to roam? Hey! What's Lucario doing here? Something the matter, Lucario? I'm Rai. And you are? Oh, your cat. Nice to meet you. Roof? What is it, Lucario? It seems Lucario sensed your strong aura, too. If you're willing to battle us, could you come to the training grounds? Sure, but not right now. be okay. Did I get any max revives? Actually, let's... See if he's got any. He does. Three grand. Look at eight. I know I have one in my inventory. I have a feeling I'm going to be Pokemon battling coming up. I haven't done a Pokemon battle in a while. Uh, let's see. I thought I had one in here. I do. Okay. Let's go. Gator is already headed to Mount Coronet. How are things looking here? Commander is already at Mount Coronet. He's already started up the mountain? He must be more reckless than that dignified manner he lets on. Not that I can blame anyone for wanting to avoid wasting time. Well, alright then. Guess I'm going after him. Let me go first, Cat. If you were to show up with no warning, there'd probably be a fight. Time's a waste and see you there. Who's the reckless one? Hey, you got run out of the village, right? But you still tried to find a way to help us all? That's right. Cat worked hard to get that red chain to help everybody. Too right, and a fine job she did too. The Survey Corps is always hard at work for the sake of everyone here in the village, as well as for the sake of our relations with Pokemon. 
Thanks. Here, take this. Oh, there we go. Now we have ten. wonder if she's foreshadowing something. Your orders are three. One, make for the summit camp, and from there, the Temple of Sinnoh. Two, use the red chain to resolve this mess. And three, return here alive. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm not free. I'm still under this this main story. Ugh, Bolo again. Get out of here. I've heard the latest. So you've been accepted back into the galaxy team, have you? I suppose congratulations are in order. Here are some max potions for me to celebrate. It looks like the big moment is upon us at last. But no doubt it'll be fine. After all, you worked so hard to earn that red chain. Both Adam and Irida have headed to the peak as well. My good friend Kat, I wish you great fortune in the battles to come. I would truly regret losing one of our most beloved and loyal customers. It seems Kamado intends to use the summit camp as a base of operations for this undertaking. As for me, I think I will set up shop closer to the temple itself. Hey! Things certainly seem to have gotten out of hand. Well, if anything goes wrong, the great Melly will be here. For moral support, at least. Oh, you're friendly now. Alright. We're going up. It'd be great to just get knocked off. Like, in the midst of this story as I'm trying to get somewhere. Just get blasted off my ride Pokemon. Break the total immersion. <laughs> Ooh, what's going on in here? It's just dark. Benny? Oh, still alive and kicking? Sorry about having to shudder the wallflower. I'd much rather be there now, serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi. But that taskmaster, Kamado's gone and left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds a way to put even these old bones to work. While I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time to get rid of you once and for all? Are you serious? I'll make myself plain. As Kamado's right hand, I'm in charge with executing all the gritty deeds Kamado can't or won't do himself. I gave him my word I'd get rid of any fools that might dream of getting in the way of his plans. And besides, it's not just Kamado who longs to live in a new home free of fear and strife. His dream is mine now, too. You've seen my smoke bombs before, right? Well, this is how you're meant to use them. He's an assassin. When I heard you managed to quell those nobles one after another, oh, did it ever make my blood run hot and my heart pound. At last, at last. One final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques that have been left to molder all these long years. Ah, so ben Benny was secretly a ninja this whole time. Okay. Oh, Luxray has crunch. It's dark in here. Nice. One shot. That's right, they're not alpha. <laughs> what do you have next? Sneezler. Uh, 
Thunder Wave. No, we'll just go full on. Oh, you're getting max potions out now. Do it again. I suppose I could have used strong style and taken him out. Oh, Psychic is strong. I mean, I only really have to just take him out. I don't really need to go overkill. Psyduck! Gardevoir. Uh, I keep thinking Gardevoir is a grass Pokemon, but she's not. She's psychic. Yeah, so psychic's not very good against psychic. Level 60. Yeah, this isn't doing great. Let's switch him out. What? Psychic doesn't do well against Psychic. What happened there? Probably because... Ooh, Steel. Liger's good too. Let's bring out Ninetales. Ugh. So big. I love it. Wreck him. Oh. Still going. Well, that was awesome with the nine tails. Delayed. Same deal. Oh, it's different. Take him out. You good? There it is. Seems my ninja techniques will soon be consigned to history. Very good, young one. Very good indeed. It's only a foolish ninja who tries to keep after a target they know they cannot beat. And to be honest, I don't hate you. I might actually like you after a fashion. At least for the skill you show in battle. But listen well, cat. Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Kamado and I saw our hometown burned to the ground by maddened Pokemon running amok. We lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. That's why Kamado came here to Hisui, to try to build a new home where people could live free from fear. But to achieve something truly great, you sometimes have to take extreme actions. If, hypothetical as it may be, a Pokemon were to appear from within the space-time rift, Kamado might lose hold of his reason. Save Kamado from himself, by force if you must. Do that and I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi than a human stomach can handle. How are my Pokemon doing? Oh, they're back up. Alright. I don't even want to talk to him. You've brought the red chain. Cat, you're the only one who can stop whatever is unfolding atop the mountain. That Pokemon that's apparently been sighted through the rift, I, I think it might be Almighty Sinnoh. The Commander Kamado stopped us from heading toward the temple.
Hey. It is, it is the rest of the uh, security corps. You again. I've heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume that is to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it's meant to be. A welcome idea, but can I truly put my faith in such tales? Of course. What do you think even the red chain is some trick on Kat's part? She worked mightily to get that thing, and I should know I was with her the whole time. I saw her rise to the trials set by the three Pokemon of the lakes. If somehow, if she somehow concocted all of that on her own, then what hope do we have anyway? Perhaps you're right, but if I were to simply place my faith in this girl and the faith that were to be betrayed, then how could I possibly face my people? And work together with us. Should something go wrong, I'll take complete responsibility. Fine. Enough. Let fate decide what happens next. Whichever of us is stronger will prevail. Face me with your Pokemon cat. Today we battle in earnest. Come at me, bro. You're going down. I hope. No, you're going down. He's only got four. They're probably really strong. Braviary. Oh, Luxray. Yes! Sixty-one. Uh, all right, let's just do normal. I don't know how long or how much it'll do. Ah, I could have done it. A max potion. We're not doing this twice. You're done. Yeah. Norlax. Normal? Ooh. We are gonna Thunder Wave you right off the bat. Ha! Crunch. I have two tacks in a row, so we're gonna do it this way. Okay, Crunch didn't do that well. We're gonna keep going. Good job, Luxray. Gollum. Oh, now we're in trouble. We are gonna go straight. Oh, nope. Never mind. He's gonna take me out first. Come on, Psyduck. Ooh, ice is super effective, too. Good. We have Frost Last as well if we need to. Ice beam. That's not gonna change the order, so let's just go for it. Nice. Nailed it, Psyduck. A fable. Fairy? Psychic. I think this is the ground. Iron Tail will work. So will Poison. Alright, Nine Tails. Nailed it. Any Pokemon that threatens our life here must be eliminated. You truly are a force to be reckoned with. <gasps> Whoa, he bowed to me. Cat, the fates have decided I concede. 
and I apologize sincerely for doubting you. Commander? I know I have no right to ask it of you any longer, but please use that strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition Team. No, for the sake of the Celestica people and all the Pokémon living in Hisui. Don't worry, Commander. We've got the red chain. It feels weird that I get out of this battle and I'm, like, facing Volo. Okay, we're at 25. This is actually where I'm going to end the episode. Because I feel like something, something big's going to go down at the top. And, uh... Let's see, how are we doing? Everybody's back up. Let's go ahead and save it. Alright. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one for what I think is going to be the finale.